Hello, I'm Caitlin from Cooking with Caitlin, and today we are making apple pie pancakes with a pecan cinnamon maple syrup. My husband loves apple pie, but there always seems to be a little bit left at the end. Not enough to feed a crowd, and definitely not enough to share with my family. So this is my favorite way to use every last bit. The American Weekend is all about catching up on things you might have missed during the week, like sporting events, house duties, or catching up with family and friends. In our family, the weekend would not be complete without Sunday night dinner. Every member is in the kitchen, the grill is fired up, and a giant meal is enjoyed. For this recipe, you need two bowls. The first bowl is for your dry ingredients. You want to combine one cup of flour with a pinch of kosher salt, two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon and a quarter of baking powder. In a separate bowl, you want to combine one cup of buttermilk, one egg, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. I like to use the buttermilk because it adds a little bit of tang to counteract that sweetness in the apple pie. Whisk these together too. Now, using a wooden spoon, combine your wet and your dry ingredients. Stir just for a minute or two, and it's okay if it's a little lumpy. In the saute pan that you're going to be cooking your pancakes, melt two tablespoons of butter and add that to your batter. Now set your bowl aside and let the buttermilk and the baking powder combine so it gets a really bubbly, fluffy pancake. In the meantime, let's get started on our maple syrup. In a small saucepan, turn to medium-high heat and combine your pecans and cinnamon stick. Once the pecans are toasted and you can smell the cinnamon, add your maple syrup to the pot and reduce to simmer. Let it slowly cook while you're getting your pancakes ready. For the pancakes, use the same pan that you melted the butter in and turn the heat to medium-high. Next, add a spoonful of your leftover apple pie to the center of the pan and spread it out. I like to let the pie cook for a little bit so it can add another layer of caramely flavor to it. Using the biggest ice cream scoop I have, scoop your pancake batter on top of the apple pie. Let it melt over the leftover apple pie now and let it cook for three to five minutes until it starts to bubble and you get that golden brown crust. Once the pancake is golden brown and completely cooked through, plate it up and spoon it generously with the pecan cinnamon maple syrup. Once you spoon over the sauce, they're ready to serve. Or hold in a warm oven and finish with the syrup when you're ready to eat.